Welcome back. Here we are in video three of our three-part series of debugging real-time applications using Visual Studio and RTX 2012. So if you remember, in our first video, we attached to a, a running process, a real-time process, using Visual Studio, and, and we debugged that. In video two, we dealt with a multi-core, multi-process environment, and in that case, we attached to multiple real-time processes, again using Visual Studio, and this time multiple instances of Visual Studio, and then we did our debugging. Here in video three, we're going to do something similar. We're going to use multiple instances of Visual Studio. This time, we're going to attach and debug to both a Windows as well as a real-time application in RTX both together. Okay? So here in this diagram, this should look familiar to you now. So one of the big key benefits of using RTX is being able to fully leverage the Windows environment and the full ecosystem. So in doing so, at a certain point, you're going to have to debug this kind of interaction because you might have some powerful HMI here running, talking to some real-time code running under RTX, and of course you need to debug this kind of communications, and usually it's happening inside a shared memory. So today we're going to talk about how to do that using Visual Studio. Okay? So to go over what you'll see in this video, at the beginning we're just going to walk through a simple project, and this will be using one of our sample projects with RTX called Latency Display. So this Latency Display project has both a Windows user UI component and also a real-time component. And so we're going to use Visual Studio to attach and debug to each one individually, the Windows and the RTX side, real-time side, and also both together. Then we're going to do uh, something called a data breakpoint. So again, I mentioned earlier, you use shared memory to communicate between these two environments. So to do that, data breakpoints are very helpful to, to kind of monitor the exchange. And then finally, in closing, we'll finish up with some additional debugging features. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. OK, so here we are in Visual Studio. And so the project I'm dealing with is actually from RTX's sample directory. So if you go to Program Files Interval 0 RTX in the samples directory, you'll see a project called Latency Display. So all this display or this utility does is there's a graphical piece. So here's a histogram showing minimum average, uh, cumulative. So it's get, gathering statistics on this function right here. So while this SRTM, so this is a system response time measurement tool is running and you can hear the tone, it's toggling the speaker port, we're gathering historical data on, on essentially how much latency there is in this system. And as you can see, it's very fast. You can see here the latency in microseconds is very quick. The maximum is like around 1.4 microseconds. Okay? So that's the application we'll be playing with here inside of Visual Studio. And so here, if I walk you through the project real quick, there are two components. So inside the solution, there's one as far as project here that is really the user interface, so it's written in C++. Okay? And then here, the NTRTSS, here's the real-time component. So this is the RTX application running in real-time. So here's the source code for it. So, so say we're in a real-time application space where we're running a Windows application as well as a, a, an RTX application. So in order to debug that kind of scenario, first we'll run the UI. So here's the display histogram ready to run. And let's go ahead and run the RTX piece. And because we need to run it as a dynamic process, we're going to go ahead and launch it as such. So RTSS run slash Y for dynamic. And there it is. And we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, and you can hear it running. Okay, and there you see the display. There it is. And let's go back to our debugger here. And let's go ahead and attach to them. So, again, nice to be able to attach the running process. If we go to the debug, attach the process. Here we can attach to the UI. So I went ahead and attached. And you can see that I'm attached. I can go inside of the source code here. Here we are. We're going to pick a spot to connect to. There, and you can see it halted. So here, now you can actually just step around and, and play with the code. And then say now you want to detach from here. Let's go ahead and right click here. Here's one way you can detach from these windows. And let's go ahead to the real time PC. So you can still hear it running. Let's go ahead and connect to that. So we'll go to back to debug, attach to process. 
and we connected it there and then we're going to go ahead and hit a breakpoint. So now you can definitely tell it stopped, you heard the tone stop and we can go ahead and hit function 5 a couple times and we're stepping through and we can even look at some of our memory values here under some of the other windows that you might have so it's very helpful in uh, doing some additional debug and so if we want to debug both the windows and the real-time portion together we're going to open up another instance of Visual Studio which I'll show you in just a moment so here we are back with Visual Studio this time you might want to debug the Windows side so the UI in conjunction with the real-time application that is communicating with so in that case and here I'll just prove it here it's actually running and if I turn unmute the speaker you can hear that running so it's going to mute that back so it's not as irritating and then here, going back to Visual Studio here, this top one is open to our UI project. So this is going to, again, talk to any of the Windows components. And underneath here, in this instance of Visual Studio, so I have two instances open, this one is talking to the real-time piece, or the RTX project. So let's go ahead and attach to both. So if you go to Debug Attach, so here on the Windows side, the same way we did it in the earlier videos, we're going to go ahead and attach the process, and here it's a .exe. Hit attach, and then same thing with the RTX side. We'll go ahead and go to debug, and then attach the process, and then here it is, NTRTSS, and hit attach. Okay, and so here we now can easily just set a breakpoint. Here we set it in the UI. You can simply step. In the, the, make any UI changes, even change the variables if you want in the watch windows. Here in RTX, I've clicked the breakpoint, and here I've stopped it there too. And now I can actually step, and here I have a, a memory window open, and you can see it changing as I hit function 5. So it's, it's really helpful. So again, this is a really great scenario. You know, excuse the cramped screen. This is a lot better if you have a large monitor of a, or a multi-display system. But this is, again, a, just a nice, easy way to debug, you know, a Windows application talking to an RTX application. And of course, you can use a lot more of the advanced features, you know, such as conditional breakpoints, to help debug this type of interaction. Also, to aid in debugging when you're communicating between a Windows and an RTX app, a lot of times shared memory is being used. So in order to help do that, here I have a memory window open. We'll go ahead and copy that address. And you can see here under debug, I can go to new breakpoint, data breakpoint, and see I already pasted it in here and click OK. So now we'll go ahead and run. You know, this one I can let run free, the window side. And here the RTX side, I'll go ahead and disable a breakpoint, hit run. And there, I actually hit run, and now you can get a pop-up and saying, oh, okay, this memory address was accessed. Click OK, I can hit run again. So here, again, it popped up. So again, you're setting maybe a specific area that you're monitoring in the shared memory, again, to help debug maybe there was a bad message passed between the real-time side and the, and the UI. So again, another great way to debug this kind of communications between a Windows app and an RTX app. So as you've just seen, it's quite straightforward and easy to use Visual Studio to attach and debug to a Windows application talking to a real-time application in RTX. And we also use data breakpoints to help debug their communications. So in closing, I'm going to leave you with some additional debugging features. And we're going to use a project we used back in video one and two, and that's just a simple periodic timer. So we're going to use that as a backdrop and, again, just show you some additional features you get while using Visual Studio and RTX 2012. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are back, and the only thing we're done here is I've added some local variables, and we're just going to see some of the other advanced features inside of Visual Studio with RTX. So if you look here, here's some locals. I did a, a little printf, and we attached to the process. And you can see App 2 is still running, but we've attached to the RTX App 1. So you can see me hitting function 5, and once in a while I get it to run and do some printfs. But just want to show that one thing's great, too, is being able to work fully through Visual Studio is we can see things like the local variables, so you have exposure to all of that, even though this is real-time code. 
Here's the watch windows. So I just added the count variables here as I step. You can see the watch values changing. Z is, a, is pretty much constant because that's a local. Here's the call stack. So this is pretty important. You might be doing some debugging and you want to see maybe what was the you know, troublesome function. So here's where you can view the call stack and you can see me step a little bit and you see the call stack changing here. So that's important. Threads are important. So this one's a very simple example, but you might have dozens and dozens of threads in a single process. So as you're stepping through your code, you can see you know, which thread is the active one. And, and again, that leads to you know, what's happening on the call stack. And then finally, which process you're attached to. So a lot of neat additional features. You know, and of course, you can right click here and get to the same advanced uh, breakpoint features, anything from setting location, conditional hit counts, you know, even printing out messages as well as data breakpoints you still have access to in a full symmetric multiprocessing environment. So thanks for sticking with us for this three-part video on debugging real-time applications. So uh, hopefully you found this as a great overview in how to use Visual Studio in a real-time environment using RTX 2012. So in the future, we're going to do a lot more of these videos, a lot more technical as well as non-technical. So we'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions. So please feel free to email me directly, and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.